Hello and welcome to Transformation Time. My name is Carol, a transformational speaker, writer, blogger and movable optimist and I'm here to help you become the best version of yourself in your personal life as well as your business. Today we are filming from this beautiful place called Latitude on the other side and today we're going to be talking about time, getting organized and being just that excellent person that you should be. Time is very key to what you know transformation is all about. It's something that changes you and changes the way that you know success Success comes to you it changes the way people relate to you and it's just definitely something that somebody who is disciplined has regardless of whatever situation that they are going to be handling for the day now when it comes to transformation I always have this thing that I always say that I'm very old school when it comes to you know time and transformation and the journey I certainly believe in you know writing down things and having a diary and going back to you know old school stuff but times have changed you know and people are having all these digital you know reminders people are having all these digital you know ways calendars and everything and this is something that we then need to start embracing and sometimes these things can then make us feel very lazy and you know at the end of the day we're not really doing you know what we're supposed to be doing in the right time and obviously I'm speaking to you guys right here in Zambia and I have this thing that I always talk about we need to stop this habit of having like you know Zambian time why because it's not so much that you know we don't have a Zambian time but people have become so accustomed to it that it's become the norm that there's no courtesy you know people don't even you know care if they've received an invitation for an event or you know they, they have a program that they need to attend or maybe it's a you know a work meeting people have just come become accustomed to the Zambian time and what does it really mean when we say Zambian time we're talking about you know hours we're not even talking about minutes we are talking about things that you know piss off some people and you'll be wondering why you know maybe you are not in good terms with you know your supervisor or you're not in good terms with certain people it all comes down to the fact that you're not respecting the other person or you're not respecting you know the environment or you're not respecting the event or you're not respecting the you know the people that have put RSVP on their card it's really important that as we begin to talk about time we need to understand what does it mean when we say that we're having Zambian time and how does it affect our productivity when it comes to productivity as a Zambian, you need to understand that everything that you do happens in 24 hours. We all have 24 hours in a day. And what does you know, 24 hours mean? It means that you need to get stuff done in the productive time, which is you know, your everyday hours from you know, your 8 o'clock to you know, 6 o'clock. Because ideally, this is when productivity happens in our culture. Productivity happens in our environment. Productivity happens in your mind and you know if you're somebody like me I have a 12 o'clock alarm that goes off every single day You know why because I certainly believe that after 12 Everybody's you know energy levels everybody's mindset sort of like begins to slow down and to make it worse If we're talking about a weekend, you know people don't even want to work and that's something that it's not so much about the date on the calendar and the time that you're supposed to do things. This begins in your mind. If you want to be a person of success, if you want to be a person that you know, wants to, to transform into a better version of yourself, even if you want your, you know, your, your corporation to change, we need to start looking at when do we do things? Do we have a sense of urgency? Because the truth of the matter is success loves speed. So if you're going to be procrastinating, if you're going to be doing things in a manner where, you know, you're very lazy fair and it's okay, you've got time tomorrow, all that stuff, it's really going to affect the kind of things that you want to achieve in life. And then you'll be looking back at, you know, you know, all the years and the time that you've wasted and you'll be wondering, how is it that she or how is it that he, you know, got to where they are? Maybe it's because they were organized. Because when you, when you work with things systematically, when, when you have things in order, because the universe is about order. And that's something that people need to understand. It's, it's not a Christian law, it's a spiritual law. It's something that you need to get aligned to it. Because if you start operating out the realms of time, basically we're just saying that you, you're just moving anyhow. And when you look at how everything is done, that's why we have order. That's why, you know, the Greeks were able to come up with the calendar because they looked at the, you know, the lunar system. They looked at all these things. Why? Because they knew. And this is how they, you know, started having seasons. And people, it's why farmers can know that this is, it's time for this. It's time for harvesting. It's time for planting. It's the same thing with life. If you're not organized, if you, 
you know, have a laissez-faire attitude to, to everything, to your approach, you're going to find that 365 days later, you're still in the same place. And you'll be wondering, what is wrong with me? And for us who are in Zambia, then we'll start praying about it. Not everything has to be about prayer. Some things just require you to be organized. Some things require you to get up and say, you know what, it's time for me to get started. It's time for me to, to be the first person who's not going to be Zambian time. I always say just because you're late and you're the first person doesn't mean you're on time. If anything, it speaks rudeness. If anything, it means that you're telling the other person that their time is not worth it. And what does that mean for somebody who wants to be successful? For somebody who wants to be a better version of themselves? It's really important because time will determine everything that you do. Time is, you know, time is something that you can't take back. This is something that I should have started with, but you know, it's something that I want to really emphasize. You have to seize the day, carpe diem. You need to seize the moment because once it's gone, right now what I said five minutes ago is not what I'm saying now. You, you know, people have this thing of, you know, I'm going to do this to redeem time. I'm going to do that to redeem time. That is not how things work. You need to understand that for you to achieve the things that you want to do, it's about getting started. It's about getting organized. You know, Zig Ziglar has this saying where, you know, he talks about, and it's one of my favorite, you know, quotes. You don't have to be great to start, but you need to start in order to be great. So how are you going to be a great person? Being a person of discipline, being a person of time, that is something that you, know, you need to understand that if it's not done today, there will be no tomorrow to go back. Tomorrow has got its own challenges because when we start a new day, when we start a new week, when we start a new month, it's just something that, you know, it, it gives you a fresh perspective. And there's something about doing things in the moment. It's almost like you are, you know, leveraging time. It's almost like you, you've got this blank slate and you've got in that moment to determine your destiny. You've got in that moment to alter your destiny. You've got in that moment to decree, to declare, to, you know, divinely align yourself to what it is that you want to achieve regardless of the situation around you. Because if we start, you know, there's nothing wrong with making goals and goal setting. You know, I always talk about that. But when you look at the future too much and you say, I'll do it then. Oh, I'm going to do it another time. Oh, I'm going to do it when I have so much money. I'm going to do it when I have this. I'm going to do it when I have that. We need to know how things work. It's about positioning. Because, you know, if, if you're coming from a spiritual aspect, you have to understand that there's certain things about seasons. If you are not aligning yourself to that season, you'll find that another season comes up and what you have to deal with in that moment is just totally different. So why not deal with the things that you need to deal with in this time? Why not embrace the things that you're supposed to embrace in this time? Because when another season comes up, maybe it's time for you to, to grow your personal development and you don't have that time you know, for the other things that you are doing. So it's really, really important for you to understand what you know, the aspect of time really means. Time helps you to, be, to have an excellent spirit. Time helps you to be disciplined. Time helps you to be organized. Time helps you to, you know, to put things in structure. And time just has this thing about it that just changes you as a person. You just become this person that you know, people will respect. You become this person of urgency. You become this person of you know, sort of right standing, so to speak, because you have taken that aspect of time and said, you know what, this thing goes on and I, I definitely understand it and I want to position myself in such a manner. And at the end of the day, people will also give you that same respect that you accord them when it comes to time. If you are in a work environment, somebody is going to say, you know what, that person is reliable. That person is organized because there are certain things that surround certain things. It's like what they say about friendships, you know, um, bears that flock together, you know, bears that, you know, that are together, they flock together. I can't even remember the saying, but I'm sure you guys understand that if you are in, you know, certain things rub off each other. Because when you're, when you're a time conscious person, you become a disciplined person, like I said, you become an organized person everything about you becomes systematic and then all of a sudden you find that your life is decluttering without you even making you know a certain amount of effort so you need to ask yourself am i really you know where i'm supposed to be based on the fact that you know maybe i wasted time are you really in the position that you are in 
because you wanted to or because you didn't leverage time? These are the questions that you need to ask yourself when it comes to transformation because transformation is an ongoing process, it's gradual, but it's something that also requires you to be determined, disciplined, and you need to be defined, you need to be decisive in everything that you want to do. But this thing of Zambian time has to end. It starts with you, don't wait for the next person. It starts with you. Are you going to be the catalyst for change? Are you going to be that change agent that we can look at and understand and really appreciate? I hope that today's episode has helped somebody out there in cutting out the Zambian time. Don't forget to follow us on social media, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. It's at karomushotatt, and the website is www.karomushotatv.com for all the blog updates. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode.